So I get an email from Annie Davis about an event celebrating African cultures. I was asked if I could create a pattern in the shape of Africa, but due to the limitations of bladder stitch, I wasn't able to make it happen. So instead, I've created this tutorial on how to make the South African flag. I hope you all enjoy this tutorial. Here's the list of everything you need to make the flag of South Africa. To make a bead flag is pretty simple. Each flag consists of the same amount of beads, that's 9 beads on each row, with a total of 9 rows. Since these two flags are very simple patterns, let's go ahead and create the South African flag. First, you will start out by taking your string and adding the first 9 beads to the string in this order. It will be 1 green bead, 1 yellow bead, 5 black beads, followed up with a yellow bead, and one green bead. Once you have all the beads on the string, this is how it should look. Now you will run the beads to the center of the string. To find the center of the string, you will take both ends of string, matching them up, and pushing the beads toward the center of the string. Once you have those beads in the center of the string, this will be the first row of the pattern. Once you have finished any row, feel free to use a toothpick running it through the beads on that row, keeping the beads aligned and reinforced. Be sure to break off the ends of the toothpick to keep the stick from showing through the sides. Once you have finished this, then you are ready to add additional rows. To make a row, you will take one end of the string and add your beads to the string. This row will consist of 9 beads as well, starting with 2 green beads, 1 yellow bead, 3 black beads, another yellow bead, and 2 green beads on the end. When you have all 9 beads on that string, you'll take your other end of string and you're going to run it through all of those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. Once you get both ends of string through all of the beads, you'll pull both ends of the string until you've reached the top. Continue repeating these same steps when creating any more additional rows. You'll add your beads to one end of the string, taking your other end of string and running it through all of the beads as well, going in the opposite direction, getting both ends of the string through all of the beads and pulling both ends of the string until you've reached the top. So just keep repeating these steps, follow the pattern, continuing and creating additional rows, remembering to use a toothpick in between rows to keep the beads straightened and aligned. As said before, feel free to use a toothpick on any desired row. This will make creating the pattern much easier to manage. Once you've reached the fifth row, the remaining rows of the pattern are the exact same all the way until completion of the project. Don't forget to reinforce those rows with a toothpick. So as you can see, this pattern is simple in design. Once again, it's 9 beads on a row, with a total of 9 rows. Once you finish the ninth and final row, be sure to use a toothpick to keep those beads held in place. Now you will tie off both ends of strings with basic knots, keeping those beads locked in place. Be sure to tie off both ends with knots that are tied tightly and secure.
carefully cut off the tied loose ends of string, add on a lanyard hook on the string in between the first and second row, and the flag of South Africa is complete. And there it is, another bead pattern that was simple to make. Hoping this tutorial was helpful and you can create one just as great. So what did you think about this video? If there's anything you'd like to add, requests or suggestions, don't be afraid to leave a comment below. And if you're new or you just haven't already, don't forget you can also subscribe if you want to be notified for more bead tutorials just like this one. And also a shout out to any crafty friends from South Africa. Hopefully this craft was worth giving. Thanks for watching.